What's going on, Coach McCants, Donarian McCants, here today to demystify biomechanics. Um, I find it simple and easy because I've always done it. Never realized it. Um, you know, like I said, just dealing with clients and then people asking me online on my Facebook, um, hey, how do I do this? What do I do this? Blah blah blah. How many days? How many of this? How many? How many? How many? How many? So keep it real simple this is what I teach all my clients and my goal is to teach them because they don't need to feed me for the rest of my life by trying to get them to work out or trying to teach them how to work out once you understand some basic biomechanics then it's about sets and reps then it's about how hard you're going to push yourself then it's about your goals and it's about what you want to do and how you want to look from that point it's three simple rules. Three days, bottom. Bottom line. You have a push day. So anytime you're pushing, you can push with your legs or push with your body. So anytime you're pushing, the body is a push-pull mechanism. So anytime you're pushing, especially with the upper body, just for example, you have three muscle groups that you're working. Anytime I do a push, I'm using my chest my shoulder and my tricep and that's the back of the arm okay that's your tricep so ladies who I got the jello give me rid of the jello or the turkey neck or whatever else y'all call it you have to work on your triceps obviously the chest that lift the girls up keep them tight and point it in the right direction and obviously for my fellas all fellas want to have big chest that's all they want why they bench press and bench press and bench press all day and never work on the legs but that's a whole nother issue. <laughs> so, that's one day. You can go in. Remember, you want 30 minutes of weight training. Find different machines that push. Now you have your three different planes. Above your head, in front, and below. Alright, so. Three different exercises. Three different planes. Above, in front, below. Find three different ways to use that use those muscle groups in those three planes, at least two different machines, or just say two exercises or more. So now you have over six exercises that you'll have to do within that 30 minutes. Alright, so that's just keep it simple. It'll be six exercises within that 30 minutes. And then what you can start to do is isolate. So isolations. Now I'm just going to attack the chest. Okay, there might be a fly. Alright, open and close. Now I just want to attack the shoulders. That might be a shoulder press. Now you're going to have some triceps in the shoulder press. You got your uh, side raises. Okay. Now, if I want to just do the push up, I mean the dips. That's golly. Triceps. You go straight to the dips. Okay, and that's a push down. Or you can do push downs, isolate, push down. So that'll be below. Um, I would avoid anything behind the neck or behind the back pay attention to the human body what do we do backwards we barely rarely ever often walk or do anything backwards so why are we doing anything behind our heads behind our backs our body does not function that way you put added pressure on your joints and your ligaments that is not necessary if you don't believe me look it up you don't believe me? Ask that person who they're going to tore their rotator cuff by doing something behind their neck and their back. I see people always doing stuff like this. Look at the position your body is in. You do not want to do anything behind your head, even with the triceps. Tricep, uh, uh, over the head, overhead tricep push. People always like this, chin down. Proper mechanics. Keep everything in front of you in your proper planes. Above the head, front of the face, below. Alright? And that'll be the pushes. Then you have the pulls. Pulls, pulls, pull. Pull down, pull in front, pull up. Same concept. Keep the concepts the same. Now when you're pulling, you're working your back. Every time you change the plane, you're going to work a little different mechanics of the back. Back, shoulder, bicep. That's the front of the arm. Okay.
okay so just make it make sense if i'm using if i'm reaching out my shoulder has to work because i'm using my arm okay and when i start to pull now my lats and everything in my back start to contract and then of course you have the greatest day of all leg day extensions curls calves try to keep it in that mind frame extension so exactly what it says I'm going to extend my leg curl I'm going to curl my leg calves stand up and down on your toes so mimic those motions over and over in different exercises now the body has to restabilize the body has to find a way to work so now it's like hey now it's a different exercise you keep yourself fresh that way keep the exercises fresh leg day can't go wrong with squats squats is the greatest thing fellas look up testosterone you want to boost your testosterone do squats proper form is going to be the key i got some stuff i'll try to post um i'm not good on the editing that's why i just keep my film straight ahead uh i'm gonna try to post some stuff i did with proper squatting boost your testosterone just think about what you squeezing when you get down there nice and low all right <laughs> so if you don't believe that look it up uh lunges can't go wrong with the lunges ladies you want to attack them glutes get nice and low you want to try to achieve a 90 degree angle from ankle to knee to hip <clears throat> that's going to be your goal ankle to knee to hip even in your squats anything you do you're going to hear the power of 90. Um, most of my clients definitely know the power of 90. you always want to achieve that that is the power position of the earth if you look at any triangle any building it has a 90 degree angle so that's the same power of the body 90 degrees okay try to find a 90 degree angle arms push up boom back down push up boom change that to a chest press same thing boom boom all right that's your goal when you do your squats your legs lunges try to achieve that 90 degrees all right that's basically what I generally teach all my clients just to try to demystify is that the word demystify something like that I gotta look that one up I make words up like multi combinational movements I'm gonna see if Wikipedia put that in for me yeah, because a lot of these trainers do what I call multi-combinational movements. Where they got you doing a whole bunch of stuff, your body's trying to stabilize and be strong at the same time. It's The body can only do one thing at a time. Um, at least, well, it can do more, but to be fully functional and to train it properly, you want to maximize um, performance. So, if I go from squats to doing, you know, full speed sprint, it doesn't work. Why? Because the body's used to doing one thing, it's trained to do one thing, so then it's like, okay, now you want me to run sprints. It's two different mechanisms. You're going from slow twitch fibers to fast twitch fibers. It hurts. I've tried it. <laughs> so that's a whole nother story, whole nother angle. Um, push, pull, legs. That's three days of work. Three days of work, 30 minutes, and then 30 minutes of cardio. Some kind of cardio. Jump into class jump rope, go jogging, go running, play a sport, that's your goal, 30 minutes weights, 30 minutes cardio, that's three days, push day, pull day, leg day, and for those that start to advance, then you just multiply it, now it's about sets and reps, minimum two sets, minimum of two sets, minimum of two sets, and then just keep going up, and I would say a maximum of six sets, but like I say, it just depends on your goal, what you're trying to perform. Alright, that's Coach McCants running my mouth, trying to get you to understand the basics of being in the weight room, the basics of the body, the biomechanics of the body. The body is a push pull mechanism. Pushes, pulls, pushes, pulls. Remember that. Alright, any more questions? Leave them. Happy New Year once again. I will talk to you soon.